hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well it's very early in the morning today i am just having my coffee and i thought you know what this is the perfect time to do some a full face of new makeup so yeah let's just get right into it Today we are testing out some brand new makeup from Kiko. Now some of these are actually brand new and some of them are just brand new to me. So we'll see how we go and how we feel but I've got uh, I think nearly a full face of products from Kiko. So yeah let's get started. To start off with uh, we have a primer this is what it looks like uh, this is the Wonder Woman primer I really like the packaging it's a glass bottle it's beautiful it's got uh, the Wonder Woman logo on top if you can see there and I've taken everything out of the box it's just for ease but yeah this is what the box looks like so this is the power face prep face primer I have my SPF and my moisturizer on so all we need to do is oh, it's very satisfying it's prime the face um obviously you might not be able to see this on camera clearly but it has like a sheen to it like it has like slightly purple iridescence to it um i'm not sure if that's going to pick on pick up on camera or not but we'll see it's very thick oh my god it smells so nice very peculiar texture um, it went on it went on like um, like really thick but as I rubbed it in it went kind of watery I don't really know um, and the weird thing is I think I might need some more because I almost feel like it's not enough I think it's peeling from some areas but we'll see maybe it's just like user error um yeah it's a weird one like it's gone like can you see the sheen on my hand I really hope that the camera can pick that up it's it's it oh my god you can actually see the purple sheen on my hand it's really weird um, okay um, I hope that's good um, <laughs> right moving on um, so we will swiftly move on to foundation this is the Wonder Woman for a born to last uh, foundation for 24 hours the color I have is 02 porcelain I hope these are the right colors um, because I didn't get to try them out I got them online so I literally did could not try them um, whatsoever so I'm hoping and praying um, that these are the right colors so what the packaging looks like all the Wonder Woman ones are in like a red packaging Here comes a glass bottle I do like the fact that they have done uh, the Wonder Woman like line in a slightly luxurious packaging so it's like glass bottle a nice pump uh, it has 28 ml I think which is slightly lower than usual um, because usually I think they come in like 30 ml something like that so I may be wrong but I think that's what it is anyway so let's do a quick pump on the hand and see where we are with this okay so this is what it looks like um, it is quite thick so we'll see how this goes I'll just dot this around my face I think the color should be fine unless it oxidizes oh it's got a very very strong smell like very strong smell it's very perfumey you know what it, um, it actually reminds me of oh my god look at that um, it actually reminds me of the Huda Beauty one which is insanely perfumed and um, it's gorgeous like on the skin but it's like really really highly perfumed so 
okay so I think the color matte is not bad I think it is quite good um, it has like it's blended into my skin really really nicely I have to say um, it is quite matte so I think obviously 24-hour aspect will mean that it will it will stay quite matte but so far I can't complain I do think maybe I'll like add just like a half a pump more um, just around the areas where I need it so like around my nose maybe here okay so next i want to go in with the eyes only because um i i'm just scared of fallout and i don't want to mess things up anyway so this is the 03 eyeshadow palette um, and i got like a quad so these are the gorgeous colors i think this is absolutely beautiful uh, it comes with a really nice big mirror which is always appreciated okay so I've primed my eyes uh, and this is the eyeshadow we are working with it comes in a quad I'll do a quick swatch on my hand before we do it on our lids that is beautiful this color uh, this color in particular is absolutely beautiful um, so I haven't put any concealer on as yet and haven't set my face either because I want to do like my eyes first um, just in case like there's any fallout and then we can put concealer on. Right, they are quite dark colours so I'm slightly scared but um, let's start with, I'm just going to start with this peachy colour. Wow, that's picked up quite a lot. so it's not blending as seamlessly as I would want the color is nice like it's exactly the way it is in the pan but um, I am having to fiddle around with it um, more than I would like uh, next I am going to go in with this dark color over here they don't really have um, names they only have numbers one two three four which I guess is okay um, I would have liked like some names or anything but that's okay we're not going to say anything we're not gonna say anything right so it's taking that outer corner here I'm just going to take the peach that we did before again on my fingers and just put that along the whole lid because I feel like because it's like a peach color it would look nice as a base and then on top of that I'm going to be using this glittery color That is really, really nice. Too bad. And you know what? Let's just use all of them. Now use the gold colour right in the middle there. Okay, so let's leave the eyes on that. I will do the other eye and I will come back in a minute. Okay, so I've completed the other eye. And I'm happy to report that there's literally been no fallout whatsoever, which is nice. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, next, with the concealer, right? So, this is called the Active Concealer. Um, the color I have is 201. So, it come, looks like, like a small tube. So, it's very, very thick. I'm just going to use one dot here, one dot here, and here. My brush and see if we need like 
my fingers or anything later on. Okay, considering the fact that I did not have any corrector under my eyes, this is really, really good. Okay, I am absolutely shocked by this um, the, by this concealer. It is beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? This is lovely. Um, I don't think like, it was really easy to blend. Um, it did set like really quickly, so I think you would have to work with it really, really, really quickly. But oh my god, this is amazing! Now, on to bronzer. So, this is what the bronzer looks like. It's actually beautiful packaging. This is called the Radiant Touch Bronzing Powder, bronzer powder in the number three. This is what it looks like. It's actually really nice. Um, so I'm just going to use that on my cosmetic brush. Okay. Um, I really do like this bronzer. It blended up really nicely. It's got a nice tone. Um, I'm guessing though, because this is three and I'm quite pale, um, it's okay that like, it's slightly warmer than I would like. But I mean, or bronze. Uh, then on to blush. Uh, the blush I got is this one called 05. It's the Smart Blush. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm hoping it's a nice colour. Oh, that's a beautiful colour. Right. Right into it. We are getting right into it. Oh, that might be too much. Yeah, I like that. I think that would be like a really nice everyday kind of... Um, kind of blush um right on to more lovelier things this is these are the highlighting drops that i got um they are very reminiscent of i want to say i used to have them this the sandler watercolor is that what they were called i don't remember now um but they were very similar so this these are literally just drops that you use Okay, this is much thicker than I thought because the ones I had before, uh, they were not Kiko. They were uh, they were like quite um, liquidy. Can you see? It's like a, supposed to be like a very subtle sheen. Start over here. I'm hoping it doesn't take away my foundation. Don't think it is, but I just want to see. No, no, it's not. I almost feel like you can wear this like under your foundation and it will give you like a sheen instead of like giving you a whole glow. Um, and also, it, I think it does come in different colors. The color I got was like a rosy pink one. So, if you're wearing this with blush, it will almost feel like your blush has like a rosy glow in it. So um, I will do my eyebrows offline and we'll come back. Okay, so I am back with the... Um, I've done my eyebrows, I have curled my eyelashes and I've finished off some um, colours underneath my eyes. So I just used the same peach colour under my eyes and some gold, um, some gold in my inner eye. Right, so uh, mascara. This is what mascara looks like. It is just normal packaging, nothing really. Uh, it's called the Volume Attraction Mascara, um, and this is what the wand looks like. Now, the wand doesn't look like anything special, to be honest. It looks like a very normal wand, um, but I have read good reviews about it, so we shall see what this is like. Okay, 
Okay, so I have done about two and a half applications on both my eyelashes. Um, like it's not a bad mascara, but it's not the best either. Like I've used much, much nicer ones. I mean, I will maybe, I will use it um, like on an everyday basis. It's like, you know, if you want like a quick um, mascara application before you're heading out or something like that, but I wouldn't really rave about it. It's, yeah, it's okay. Nothing special. Okay, so lip liner done and the lipstick I have is this one, it's like a mini one um, and this is called Rosy Hibiscus. This is the lipstick Rouge Kiko Milana, that's all it says and this is what it looks like. So it is like a rosy pink colour and I'm just going to swap that onto my hands. It is a matte finish um, so keep that in mind. Um, and the reason why I swatched it in my hand as well because sometimes it does change when I put my lip liner on with it. That is a lovely, lovely colour and a beautiful finish because it's very lightweight. Um, it's almost like moussey but it's um, matte and it's I really like this colour. It's really nice. I think it's really summery. And that's all for today, guys. I really do hope you guys like this. Please give this a big, big thumbs up. Please subscribe, guys. It's absolutely free. It would mean the world to me if you do. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.